The question is evaluate the value of the integration of the function x cos inverse x with respect to x. Now to solve this question obviously we are going to take the given integral and on observing the integral we find that it is a product of two function. So to solve this we will have to apply the formula of integration by parts. Okay. So first of all we will have to sort out which function we are going to take the first function and which has a second function. Right? So because we cannot integrate cos inverse x directly. Okay. So in other words there is no direct formula to integrate cos inverse x. So we have no option but to take cos inverse x as the first function because we know the function which is taken as the first function is differentiated. Okay. So this can be written as cos inverse of x into x dx. Okay. This is the formula of integration by parts for reference. Now we are going to apply this formula for this integral. So I'm going to get cos inverse x into integration of x minus differentiation of cos inverse x integration of x and the integration of the product of the terms in the bracket. Okay. So first of all integration of x is x square upon 2 differentiation of cos inverse x is minus 1 upon under root of 1 minus x square and integration of x again is x square upon 2. So we get this as equal to cos inverse x into x square upon 2 minus integration of minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square into x square upon 2. This can be written further as 1 by 2 x square cos inverse of x plus this minus and minus gives plus sign. Therefore, we have plus sign here. 1 by 2 taken outside. So, this is equal to plus 1 by 2 into integration of x square upon square root of 1 minus x square dx. Okay. Now, we have to integrate this function. This function is to be integrated. Now to integrate this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a little bit of trick and the trick is that I'm going to add and subtract 1 from x square. So I get these two terms. The first term is 1 and second term is x square minus 1. So taking 1 and x square minus 1 as two separate terms, I'm going to divide this by the denominator separately. So I can write this as 1 upon 2 x square cos inverse x plus 1 by 2 times integration of 1 upon square root of this 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square minus you can see here we would have obtained x square minus 1 so I have taken minus sign as common so I am going to get 1 minus x square upon square root of 1 minus x square okay and this term has to be integrated now, further, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simplify these terms, 1 minus x square upon square root of 1 minus x square, and this can be written as square root of 1 minus x square. Okay, so the terms are same, one is x, so other is square root of x, so by that logic, we cancel out and get this as under root of 1 minus x square. Now, this can be integrated as minus cos inverse x. Integration of 1 upon under root of 1 minus x square can also be written as minus cos inverse x. So, this is being done because we have been given the integration in which we have cos inverse x. So, I want that the term should be same. Okay. And if the terms are same, then the simplification would become easier. Okay. So, and uh, I'm going to write integration of 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square as minus cos inverse x. And to integrate this, I'm going to apply this formula. Integration of a square root of a square minus x square is equal to 1 by 2x under root of a square minus x square plus 1 by 2 a square sine inverse of x upon a. So here it is 1. So 1 can be written as 1 square. So we are going to get at all places where there is a 1 and a square 1 square that is 1 again. So this can be written as 1 by 2 x square cos inverse x plus 1 by 2 
minus cos inverse x minus of 1 by 2 x square root of 1 minus x square plus sine inverse of x upon 1 that is x plus c dash. So why we have written c dash this will be known to us. Solving further what I'm going to do I'm going to write sine inverse x as equal to pi by 2 minus cos inverse x. Okay. So I'm going to obtain the expression like this. Sine inverse x is written as pi by 2 minus cos inverse of x. Now the next what has to be done is that the terms are to be simplified so that I could get my answer. So first of all I'm going to multiply this 1 by 2 with this cos inverse x. So I'm going to get minus 1 by 2 cos inverse of x. Okay. Similarly this 1 by 2 is going to multiply in this bracket also and minus sign is outside so I'm going to get 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 as minus 1 by 4 x into square root of 1 minus x square. Again this minus 1 by 2 is going to multiply with this bracket to give me minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 into minus into pi by 2 would be equal to minus pi by 8 and minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 and which, which is going to multiply with this cos minus cos inverse x to give me 1 by 4 cos inverse of x. So minus pi by 8 and c dash are two constant term. Okay. So they would be replaced by an another integral constant. That is why I have I've written here c dash. So whenever there is a chance that I'm going to get more than uh, um, I'm going to get a constant term or a constant term could be obtained. So I'm going to write the integral constant as c dash instead of c. And further the sum of these two would be replaced by the uh, integral constant c. Okay. Now solving further I'm going to write this minus 1 by 2 cos inverse x plus 1 by 4 cos inverse x. So I know that minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 is minus 1 by 4. So I'm going to get this as minus 1 by 4 cos inverse x. Okay. And remaining terms as it is. Further, I'm going to take cos inverse x as common and replacing these two constant of integration by c. So I'm going to obtain these two terms as cos inverse x of 1 upon 2 x square minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 x into square root of 1 minus x square plus c. Therefore the integration of x times cos inverse x is equal to cos inverse of x into on taking LCM I'm going to get 2x square that is on taking LCM and adding these terms I'm going to get 2x square minus 1 upon 4 minus 1 by 4 x times square root of 1 minus x square plus c which is my required answer. Thank you. Please support us by subscribing to our channel, by liking this video and giving your comment for the video.